that was my impression of a statue. I'm just waiting for some people to log on so I can start this live stream. I am so, so excited for this. Oh, looks like Emma's logged on. Hi, Emma. I was so, so excited for this. Um, so for those of us uh, joining us, we're going to be doing a very special segment today. Um, I have been loving this, uh, hi Francis, um, this uh, online programming that we've had going on from camp the past couple weeks. Um, I've loved story time with Hillary. Um, camp trivia with Kayla yesterday was fantastic. I really felt like I was at camp going around to all the program areas with her. Um, hi Avery, I hope you're doing well. Um, uh, just like, uh, oh, Mad Libs with uh, Peaches yesterday, or Glad Libs, I think she called it, was fantastic. Um, not tying with Greg and Lindsay. I even, uh, I even implemented one of their knots. Hold on, let me uh, flip the camera around. Um, did that double fisherman's knot. Thank you, Greg and Lindsay, for teaching me this. Um, actually, I'm setting a bad example here. If you're going to be in the woods doing things like this, you should definitely engage both action straps on both of your crocs. Hi Kayla, hi Emma, hey Will. Um, so how about I tell you a little bit about what we're doing today? Or let me introduce myself first. I am Bailey um, from the Camp Out New York program. Um, right now I'm actually not in New York, I'm in the woods of Connecticut um, because we're uh, kind of switching up programming from what we're usually doing. Um, usually Camp Out is really cool because we bring camp into your own communities and your own homes. Um, we do, one of the things we do is home visits. Um, where we'll bring like a few hours of camp programming personalized for a family and bring it right into their homes. We're kind of doing the opposite of that today. Um, I am going to be bringing you camp programming from my own home. Um, so I'm very, very excited to be flipping the script and I'm doing that with a game that I like to call Flip That Rock. Um, so the way this game works, and this is a game that I learned at Hero's Journey years ago. Um, the way that this game works is I'm going to saunter around the woods. Um, it's really more about the process than the, uh, the, the journey than the destination with this one. But we're going we're gonna to wander around the woods and take a look at these beautiful natural woods we have here. Um, I hope this, uh, this feels like a nature show. I hope this can feel like Crocodile Hunter. I do want to give the disclaimer that I am not the Crocodile Hunter. And any facts or knowledge that I'm dropping on you today is mostly just opinions um, or speculation. Um, but as I'm sauntering through the woods, we're gonna come across some rocks. Um, I don't know what's underneath the rocks. You don't know what's underneath the rocks. Um, Mark Rozelle just brought up a great point that most people take rocks for granite. Hilarious, Mark, love that. Um, but we're gonna look under these rocks and we're gonna see what's under them. Before we look under though, we're gonna count down together and we're gonna say three, two, one, flip that rock. Okay, so I kind of said that alone that time. I actually need you to say it with me. So together, together, we're gonna say, three, two, one, flip that rock. There it is. And then with that energy, we're gonna flip over that rock and we're gonna see what's underneath. Um, I'm gonna ask you all to guess. Um, you could guess what kinds of bugs or dirt we're gonna find underneath. Um, and then we'll see who was right. Um, it's, uh, it's really fun, the kinds of surprises you'll find here. I'd say without any further ado, let's get started. I'm kind of standing in a pricker bush here, which is exactly why it's so important to engage those action straps. Um, I'm bringing you high fashion today in my khaki shorts and Crocs with socks. Um, actually, looks like there's some rocks over here. Um, if anyone wants to chime in, we've got uh, two perfectly good options here, the left rock and the right rock. I'm assuming my camera is transmitting the same way I'm seeing it. Um, so I'll go with the first, the, first, the first comment I see, left or right, with which rock uh, we should flip. Um, I have no idea what's under either of these rocks. I've cleared away some of the leaves to make them a little easier to flip, but really uh, your guess is as good as mine. Um, hmm. Yeah, Colin, uh, Colin is noticing the moss, so sometimes you'll see cool things on top of rocks, not just underneath. Um, Danny Sutherland brings up a great point that we should flip the left rock. All right, so I need you to say it with me. Do you all remember the script? Three, two, one, flip that rock. Oh, it's a heavy one. Okay, let's look what we can find down here. Ooh, there's some sort of sprout. You see that? 
some kind of plant that was growing under here. Surprising to me because I thought plants needed sunlight to grow. Um, that actually looks like it might be part of growing out of an acre. Ooh, I think I just ripped it out of the ground. I feel bad. Oh well. Um, there's a, a bug over here, or maybe a, the shell of a bug. Let's see if we can get that to focus. Oh, <gasps> a roly-poly bug. Um, so these guys are really cool. They're known as roly-poly bugs because sometimes they'll roll up in a little ball like a roly-poly. Uh, he's crawling on my hand there. Uh, he's not rolling into a ball, which makes me think this might not be a roly-poly bug, um, but that's okay. Um, yeah, very neat. Um, I, I keep saying he. I don't actually know what pronouns this bug uses, what this bug's gender is. That's just an assumption that I usually make and I need to get out of that habit of assuming all bugs are use he pronouns. But over here, we've got, it looks like a worm, or half of a worm maybe? A little worm. Does anyone know what kind of worm this is? Yeah, Hole in the Wall Gang Camp noticed it before I even did. Oh, he's crawling away. This worm does not want to be bothered, so we'll, we'll leave this worm be. Um, definitely makes me think of the boathouse over at camp using worms for bait. Um, my favorite worm to use as bait at camp is a night crawler. Um, what is everyone's favorite, uh, what is everyone's favorite thing to use as bait when you're fishing at camp? You can put that in the comments. Um, let's go find another rock. Continue on our journey here. I actually noticed something interesting. And it's important to keep your eyes up too. You don't want them purely on the ground because there's cool things everywhere here in these woods. I actually noticed an interesting tree over here. Um, sometimes, yeah, exactly what I thought it was. You'll see these in Connecticut. Um, just random trivia questions. Uh, no one really knows where this comes from. Scientists have, uh, scientists have speculated. But it looks like we've got a Fortnite question, if there's any Fortnite players watching. What part of the Chapter 1 map was located between Lonely Lodge and Tomato Temple and was replaced with Weeping Woods at the beginning of Season 8? Hmm. I am not really a Fortnite player. I have to come clean, so I'm not sure. Um, you can also look for context clues around. I think I think I remember hearing there was a, like a corn maze or something here. Um, you can look around. Like I like to look up. And down. Oh, what's this? So I'm actually noticing now a lot of the the trees here have whales on them. Um, does anyone know what area that is in Fortnite? I think the whales might be jogging my memory. I think it's Whaling Woods. Huh. Um, anyways, I'll continue on my journey. We'll find some more rocks to flip. Um, so. Over here, I think there was some more cool rocks back in this area. Um, you'll notice a bunch of things that aren't under rocks either. This looks like a rock from far away, but it's actually a mussel shell um, type of shellfish. Um, you gotta wonder where that comes from, um, seeing as there's not a lake here, but it could have been dragged here by an animal. It could have been like in the movie Holes where there was a lake that dried up. There's a, a lot of them over here in the compost heap too. It really makes you wonder how they got there. Oh, the crown jewel of the compost heap here. Someone clearly threw out um, a bit of a, a green onion that's grown into a plant. One man's trash, another man's treasure. That's what I always say. Um, but here's another rock. Let's see what's underneath this one. Um, any guesses? Any guesses, post those in the chat now. Um, and I'm gonna count us in. Three, two, one. Flip that rock. Ugh. Oh, we've got some smaller worms down here. Is that a worm or is that a stick? Let's poke at it and find out. That is a worm. Maybe a baby worm. Baby worm. Do, 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 do. Pretty cool. Oh, and here's a bigger one. Maybe that's the mama worm or the papa worm. Um, who knows? Pretty cool. Another important uh, aspect of this game is you always want to replace the rocks when you're done. So that, uh, just gently drop that back in there so that those worms can have the, the darkness and the, the dinginess of the underneath the rock that they enjoy. Um, let's keep going on our journey. 
Um, I notice a very big, very hefty rock over here. Um, a lot of people have suggested that I might not be strong enough to flip this rock. I do want to assure you um, in this quarantine um, that I've been working out and I am, I'm, I'm strong enough to flip this rock. I'm confident of that. The only thing is, uh, we, I mean, you've seen the worms and the bugs that are under those little rocks. You can only imagine what's under a rock this size. We don't want to run into a bear or a shark or anything that we're not prepared to, to take on today. So we're going to leave this rock where it is, um, just out of safety concerns, um, and find a rock that's more our size. Um, oh, another trivia question. This one's for maybe a more mature audience, uh, maybe for more of our parents out there. What band has this logo? Um, if I'm going to be honest with you, I'm going to tell you that when I first saw this logo, I thought it was for an orthodontist or a dentist or something. Um, but uh, if you think that, then you'd be wrong. This actually is a band. Um, hmm. I will give you a clue that the name of this band is a synonym for flip that rock. Or like another phrase that means flip that rock. Um, Kayla, that was an excellent guess with a Sasquatch under that rock. I could definitely see something that size being under there. Um, I'm going to reveal now. The name of that band is Rolling Stones. Kind of like Flip That Rock. See what I did there? Um, we're going to move into a more grassy area. Um, maybe some more manageable sized rocks. You'll see some rocks like this look like they've already been flipped in the last couple days. Um, they say leave no stones unturned, and I'm just hoping that someone has left at least a few stones unturned. Um, I think this is a good area. This maybe looks like a good rock. We're looking for something small. Um, do we have any guesses what could be under this, this little one? It's really shiny. Um, I don't know what it is that makes rocks shiny, but I'm thankful for it. Um, Greg says Flip That Rock is a better band name than... Uh, than uh, uh, Rolling Stones, and I have to agree, um, but I think that maybe they weren't quite ahead of their time enough to think of that. Um, but let's flip this rock. Three, two, one, flip that rock. Wow. Uh, this happens sometimes. You find a whole lot of nothing, um, and I think that's part of what makes the game so special, is just being ready for that. Um, so. I say we, we replace this rock and just move on. Let's find, let's find a guaranteed win. Um, and maybe we'll make this our last rock of the day. Um, I think with this game, um, I know not everyone can get out there into the woods right now, um, but you can play this game in your own home. You can play flip that couch cushion or uh, flip that bath mat. If you have lazy family members that are on the couch, you could even play flip that person. Um, so don't don't get don't get don't think too inside the box here. Um, I'm, I, we could even do flip that log right now. So let's let's change the script up a little bit. Instead of saying flip that rock, we're gonna say flip that log. So if y'all will count in with me, we'll make this the last the last uh, rock of the day, if you will. Um, all right, three, two, one, flip that log. Oh, there's some slimy stuff underneath. Um, it looks like a whole lot of dirt. And I'm going to start, I'm going to use this stick to kind of uh, peruse through what we've got. There is, oh, it looks to be a centipede. Or maybe that's a roly-poly bug? No, that is a centipede. Very cool. Oh, he's moving. Or she's moving. This, th they're moving. That bug is moving. Um, I think, I think bugs like this do like the dark, um, and so sometimes I feel bad that I'm exposing them to a little bit of sunlight, um, but I'm sure they're going to be okay as long as we remember to replace that log. It's kind of a leave no trace principle with this game. Um, I'm going to flip this log back over. Let's see if there's anything else under here first. Oh, another worm. Sophia Johnson suggested we flip our pancakes and see what's underneath. I'm hoping you find a whole lot of butter, because that's how I like my pancakes. Um, let's look at one more worm today. Let's lift this fella up. I've seen some short worms today. I feel like worms are usually longer than this. Am I wrong? But, um, yeah, that's a little worm. 
maybe maybe it's like the season that worms are giving birth and there's a lot of baby worms up there. Um, I don't know enough about worms to say other than just my thoughts. Um, but I'm going to roll this log back over. Um, I want to thank everyone who has tuned in today. Um, this segment has meant a lot to me and it's, it's really felt like I'm at camp. Um, getting to do this with all, all of my camp family and friends. Um, I think this is a big reminder that um, camp is more than a place and it's a community and as long as we have each other, we have camp. Um, there's a, that song that we sing um, every session of the summer um, when we're raising the flags. Um, there's a song that they sing um, where they say, this camp that I have, um, the world didn't give it to me. The world didn't give it, the world can't take it away. Um, so let's remember that the world can't take, uh, can't take uh, camp away from us. Um, if there's one lesson that I want you to take from this game, it's that not only is that a rock, or is that a rock, but also you rock. So thank you so much for joining me today. Um, sending lots of safety, respect, and love to my camp family. Um, and uh, everyone have a great day and stay safe.